Warren Weinstein was a 73-year-old aid worker from Rockville, Maryland. The husband and father of two daughters was kidnapped in Lahore, Pakistan in 2011, just days before he planned to come home to the U.S. His wife said in a statement, quote, those who took Warren captive over three years ago bear ultimate responsibility. She thanked members of Congress and FBI officials for helping her. Then she said, quote, unfortunately, the assistance we received from other elements of the U.S. government was inconsistent and disappointing over the course of three and a half years. CBS News senior security contributor Michael Morell is in Washington. He is a former CIA deputy director. He is still bound by some laws of secrecy. So there are aspects of this story that he cannot talk about. Mike, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. Let me begin with this question. Suppose the president put you in charge of the review. What is troubling about this and what is the question that you most want to answer so that this uh, we can understand how not to let this happen again? Charlie, I'd want to know a couple things. One is I would want to know whether all of the normal procedures were followed here, number one. Um, number two, I would want to know whether there are any new procedures that we need to put in place. And number three, I'd want to know how do we do a better job collecting intelligence on what's going on inside one of these compounds that we're targeting. Do you suspect that there was something not happening here that should have happened? Charlie, I just don't know since I don't know the facts, but if I was on the review, that's what I would be looking at. I wonder, Mike, if you can help people understand, because that phrase, hundreds of hours of surveillance, of watching this particular compound, how could you miss that there were those, those in the CIA miss that there were hostages inside? Um, hostages tend to be hidden, Nora, um, hidden for days and days and days, so it's not, it, it, it is quite possible that um, you might look at a compound for some period of time and not see hostages. What can you tell us, Michael, about those American Al-Qaeda members that were killed in this strike? How significant is this? So both of them were very significant. Ahmed Farouk uh, was a senior Al-Qaeda commander, um, a guy behind a number of terrorist plots. Uh, very important to remove him from the battlefield. Um, Adam Gadan was a propagandist. His job was to sell the Al-Qaeda message, was to radicalize young people around the world. So important, too, to, re to remove him from the battlefield. All right, Michael Morrell, thank you so much.